Thank you for all joining today. Good afternoon to wherever you're calling from. Maybe practices or most are like me at home. All down to the COVID-19 situation. There is no doubt that this pandemic has pushed us to make changes to the way we work. Also, that's probably one of the reasons why you joined the session today. My name is Leo Huang, founder of One to One Sync. I will be presenting our product Vital Pad today and show you how it helps GP practice to monitor their care homes remotely without face to face appointments. A quick word about the agenda. I will start by giving an overview of our solution, followed by its infrastructure, what it is capable of achieving, how do we achieve it, its benefits, and finish up with a demo. This illustration provides an outline of our solution, a very high level overview. So we got care homes on left and GP practices on the right. What we are providing is a channel to link these two sites together so that they can communicate and exchange clinical information about the care home residents. Care home would be able to read the medical record of their residents held by the GP, and the GP would also receive the latest observations sent over by the care home. More importantly, GP can read this data directly in image web, an interface which they are quite familiar with without having to switch to another software. Now let's look at the infrastructure of our solution. On the left hand side is our user terminal in the care home, VitalPad or VPad. It has got three different versions, a medical device version, which has got built-in measurement modules, also a tablet version and the mobile phone version, which are purely mobile app based. For example, if you've got your own measuring kits and iPad, you can use our service as well. All versions can communicate with the clinical system remotely through our cloud service. Let's have a closer look at the medical device version called VPad Pro. It's the key part of our solution, a smart user terminal placed in the care home. It's a portable device with a size like a thicker version of iPad. The care home can book appointment using our secure messaging service. The appointment request will be sent to the practice mailbox to be processed. It has got built-in measurement modules to measure oxygen saturation, pulse rate, blood pressure, temperature, ECG, and we can easily integrate more hardware modules as long as there are enough people asking for it, such as glucose monitor, spirometer, ultrasound scanner, and so on. With the data recorded, VPAD can work out the BMI and the news to score. It also allows care home users to manually enter their comments if they want to in include their word to the GP. We can add an entry of any encoded data that GP feels necessary. For example, um, if there are any special code, you have to enter every time when seeing a care home patient. It's got a big screen to properly display the medical record coming from ImageWeb. You can see plotted graph of the vital signs, medications, previous consultation records, and uh, doctor comments. Also, what can be seen by the care home are all controlled by the GP practice. We also provide the video consultation service on VPAD. VPAD has got built-in camera, speaker, and microphones to receive video calls from the GP. Integration-wise, VPAD is integrated with Image Web GP and community version, and we will be live with System 1 next month. Now let's look at how VPAD actually works. The product itself is uh, it's, it's actually more comprehensive, which can be used in other remote scenarios and tweaked to adapt your local requirements. But I'm just going to talk about one of the actual workflow used by Nosley CCG in GP practices. First of all, care home will request an appointment uh, for their residents. The GP practice will process the email received and create a virtual checkup appointment for this patient under the care home's account in ImageWeb. A care home will see this appointment appearing on VPAD. Then they can check the patient historical record, 
and start recording new observations. Once completed, this data will land in ImageWeb straight away. GP can review and decide any follow-up action. Hopefully, all observations look fine and uh, that's a false alarm. Otherwise, more action would need to be taken. If required, the GP can then use our video consultation service to chat with the care home staff and patients. There are quite a few benefits of using our solution for various parties. Generally speaking, using our solution can help uh, standardize how care homes work with GP practices. For example, um, a set of data need to be made available by the care home before the GP gets involved. A standardized process will also make all parties work more efficiently and reach the same expectation. For clinical staff and the NHS, it saves their valuable clinical time with accurate and up-to-date information coded in patient's record. It enables paperless data collection process, reduce administrative burden and any potential human error involved. Using our solution will make it possible to build up health baseline of the residents. Then the NHS can instantly access large amounts of high quality data to identify at risk patients and uh, for population health management. The care home also gains efficiency benefits from a more direct, secure access to the clinical information. They will have improved morale due to a reduction in the time spent calling GP practices for appointments. And they will have fast access to a more comprehensive advice from a GP. As a result of the more comprehensive data they have made available to the GP, such as observations and the video data. As for the patients, they will benefit from improved patient experience and well-being through enhanced care home, uh, sorry, through enhanced care from a more collaborative care team. Now let's move on to the demo. This is a simulation of the VPAT screen. So um, if the care home is in need of help from the GP practice, uh, they can request an appointment from VPAT by typing this request appointment button. In the content, they can include patient names and it will land in the practice's secure mailbox. Once the GP practice receives an appointment request from the care home, the admin will go to the appointment book in ImageWeb. Find the preset session for this care home account and add the relevant patients into the session. Then the care home would be able to see this patient immediately on VPAS screen by refreshing their appointment list. One thing to mention here, we can also set up a patient list for the care home so that they can create appointments, uh, these virtual appointments for these patients themselves without having to go through your reception every time. This feature can be particularly useful if you want to allow care homes to file data for selected patients frequently, or you just always require care home to prepare certain data sets before even contacting your reception. So when they actually do contact you, this data could have already landed in ImageWeb for you to review. Now let's select this appointment received. We can check the historical records, including their vital signs, uh, previous consultations, as well as attachments. There is also a summary of patients' uh, problems, allergies and medications.
The care home can now start recording new data for this patient. This is a simulator, so we have to enter everything manually. VPAD Pro has its own management modules, so when observations are taken, all will be stored automatically. The user can also include their free text notes for the GP, which will also be sent back to ImageWeb. Once finished entering all data, we just go back to the appointment list. We can see some gray icons have turned blue now to show us the new data we have collected. If we just tap on the sync button, the data will now be flowing back to the ImageWeb in a few seconds. So if we go to this patient record in ImageWeb, we can see it here. After reviewing the data coming from the care home, if the GP feels that the video consultation would be helpful, GP can call the care home straight away from our one-to-one -one sync portal. Or alternatively, they can also call from their mobile phones using the VPAD app. I would like to say thank you for your time today. We will get back to all the questions received. After the presentation, if you still have further questions, you can uh, chat with us on our website. We have a web chat function. You can also email us or approach the EMIS partner team if you are interested in our solution. Thank you.